In this video, we'll be unboxing and reviewing the brand new Foldio 2 Plus. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to us for more photo and video equipment reviews just like this. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hypop or visit our website, hypop.com.au. Let's get into it. So for those of you that don't know what the Folio is, Folio is a product by Orange Monkey that was made popular through their Kickstarter project that they had up. It was really popular and successful because it was catering to the everyday person, someone who is a hobbyist, perhaps a small business, or you have a little online store. Um, it's perfect and it's an all-in-one solution for taking perfect product photos. So um, you can see here, it's actually quite a small package. It folds down into a nice portable little package. Um, it actually has its own inbuilt lights. So it's LED lighting, so they last quite a long time without having to replace them. And yeah, it's basically a neat little package that you can store away and pack away when you don't need it and you know easily set up when you do. So I've got the brand new Foldio 2 Plus here with me today, as well as an additional accessory which is called the Foldio 2 Plus front cover. So let's give these a quick unboxing and see what's included inside. So it looks like it's about the same packaging as the original Folio 2, about the same dimensions. And on the inside here, we've got two parts. We, we've got a long rectangular box here. Inside it includes an international adapter pack. So that has a dimmer switch. It has plugs for the EU, Australia, the UK, and the US by the looks of things. And it's also got a the international plug there as well, which you can attach all the different international adapters to, depending on where you're located. Let's put this one aside. And inside here, it looks like we've got the Folio 2 Plus and just a sheet with some instruction manual and ways on how to set up the actual lighting tent. Let's open this up. Okay, so on the inside here, we've got the Folio 2 Plus, all folded down and collapsed into its neat little package. And you've got the backdrops here as well. So you've got white, black. So these are made what feels like a felt material. So opening up the Folio 2 Plus, it's the same as the original Folio 2. It looks like a quite similar design. So it is that cube sort of box. Um, let's set this all up and see how it all works. So I've got all the different components that's included with the Folio 2 Plus in the package. You've got the dimmer switch here once again, we've got the AC adapter, we've got the Folio 2 Plus itself, and we've got the two backdrops that are included in the package. By the looks of things, they've included this new dimmer switch, which was only a component of the Folio 3. So the previous Folio 2 didn't actually have this dimmer switch. They had the dimmer uh, knobs and dials actually attached to the LEDs themselves. So this is a nice little addition. And it looks almost identical to the Folio 3 dimmer switch. So that means that you should be able to attach halo bars to them too, if you wanted to. Now this is the international adapter. It's simple to use. It's, all you need to do is just slide in your international adapter for whatever region you're in. And you've got the two backdrops here. So let's open this Folio 2 Plus up. So there's three different parts to the Folio 2. So it basically makes that sort of shape uh, the cube and you've got the two flaps here which are magnetic um, and that's how you construct this all up so you basically need to open up each of those magnetic flaps in each of the three segments and then join them together and then the last one's there and it's as simple as that so what you can see here is uh, a few changes that have been added to the Folio 2 Plus are uh, some of the LED strips here. So these LED strips, there's now three that are already inbuilt into the Folio 2 Plus. So previously you had the two LED strips that you had to mount yourself with double-sided tape. Um, and there were only two LED strips provided. So now there's three, which means that there's additional light. Um, it also means that should provide better lighting in terms of clearing out that backdrop and providing ample lighting for any of the products that you um, choose to take photos or videos of in your Folio. On top of that, you've got a little opening on the top here now. So on the top, you've got, just flip that around so you can have a look. There's a little magnetic opening um, and that's just a little circle opening at the top so you can shoot some of the top down shots. So if you're taking any flat lays or anything like that, you can do that now um, directly on the Folio. Whereas previously you had to rotate your entire cube or your Folio tent um, to take a flat lay down like this in the, in the front opening. Now you can actually just do that directly from the top here. Um, so that's a really good inclusion. 
and also by the looks of things you've got the magnetic mounting points here so we can definitely attach some of those halo bars if you want additional lighting to the three LED strips that you have on the Fodio 2 Plus. So I've got the adapter plugged in now um, and basically the adapter plugs into the bottom of the dimmer switch here. There's a little port that you can plug that into and then on the other end here you've got a cable which plugs into the top point here of your Foldio 2 Plus. There's also another input here at the top of the dimmer switch which is for your halo bars. So I've got a pair of halo bars here as well as the cables. Um, these are for additional lighting, so they're an additional accessory if you want more lighting in your Foldio, whether it be the Foldio 2 Plus or the Foldio 3, the halo bars are a great addition. So a really good way to cable manage the cables here rather than having them come from the front is to feed them through into the back openings here in the Foldio. So there's two at the top and two at the bottom here, some openings. And what you can do is actually just feed through the cable through the top opening here then pass that through into the connection point of the top here and you can actually pull that cable a little bit so that's a little more taut there so that way when you're taking photos or videos the cable is not in view when you're taking a shot so that's all connected now let's connect the halo bars so these are the additional lights that you can go for if you want so um, there's it's basically a Y splitter cable like that so there's two two ends on one side and one connection point so the one connection point goes into the dimmer and the two inputs you can feed through the top two openings of your Foldio 2 Plus. And insert that into one of the halo bars here. Now the halo bars are really great because they're sort of like a triangle or a pyramid shape there. Um, and they're quite a long light and they're actually magnetic at the back here. So what you can do is attach them magnetically to your Foldio 210. So you can have them pointing upwards, so the light's actually coming from one side of the of the actual halo bars here. So what you can do is you can either have them pointing upwards up to the top of the Folio 2 Plus and have them reflect the light back down, or you can have them pointing downwards as well. So I'd probably prefer to have them pointing upwards, so that way the light's reflecting up top and it's helping remove and eliminate some of that shadow. Now on the other side here, we've got the second cable that we can plug into so there's an input on one side of the halo bars and have that mounted to the side of the 42 tent there, that really strong magnet that can hold up the lights as well as construct the tent. Now on the back here, we've got that single connection point that we can attach to that dimmer switch and that way that's all connected up now. So what you'll see is I can actually control the halo bar lights there. On the left side of the dimmer switch, there is the dimmer knob for the halo bars and then you've got on the right side, the dimmer bar for the three LED lights that are inbuilt into the Folio 2 Plus 10. So um, there you go, you can see there's ample lighting there. And you can see once I put the halo bars up there in intensity, so you can control this. This is a stepless dimmer switch for the LEDs. That increases the intensity and there's quite a substantial amount of light there for this size 10. Um, more light is always better because basically what your phone will do is automatically adjust to the light so the more light you have the sharper your image and video um, or for your camera obviously the sharper the image and video if you're shooting with a DSLR or mirrorless camera. One last thing you need to do for the Foldio tent is to actually mount the backdrops. The backdrops just like everything else in this tent is also magnetically mounted so there is a little magnetic mounting point right at the top here. There's a little strip there which has two magnets on either side and that sits at the top here of your Folio 2 tent so when you open your tent for the first time it's going to be mounted on the ceiling of the actual tent so just remove that really quickly and then grab one of your backdrops and just grab that magnetic mounting point and attach that to the top there you go. And your white backdrop is now mounted. So these backdrops, they're made from sort of like a felt material on one side and then like a, a sort of paper, craft paper type material on the back side. So you could potentially use the other side if you wanted to. But this felt side is obviously used to absorb some of that light. So it's a non-reflective material. Um, so that way you're not getting reflections and things like that, especially if you're shooting reflective products or items like rings, jewelry, and things like that. And we put our little subject in there. 
There you go, you've got that perfect backdrop for taking perfect photos for your products or videos if you're using the 4360, for example. So what you can see is the backdrop's actually a little bit curved there, and what that's doing is actually mimicking a cyclorama backdrop. So this is like a little mini studio, basically. So if you're like a professional photographer or a filmmaker, if you're in a studio, they use cyclorama backdrops. That basically makes it look like an infinity backdrop, so there's no edge on the on the bottom there so that way um, you, you basically don't see the backdrop and it's a nice smooth white backdrop for your subject so the last part to look at and the last additional feature would be the top opening here of the folio 2 plus so that's a new feature that they don't have in the folio 2 the first model and also the folio 3 so previously when you wanted to shoot a flat lay you would have had to rotate the actual tent around so that the opening was um, positioned at the top but now they have this little convenient circle opening at the top here with this little magnetic cover that you can just reattach at any time and yeah it just makes it a lot easier to take a flat lay so i've got a few bits and pieces here that i can put together a little flat lay and just demonstrate that got a little camera here grab a wallet and some keys and it's super easy to take the flat lay now so all you need to do is just take it directly from the top here you can see i've positioned the lights for the halo bars pointing downwards to the subject and i've got the the top three lights obviously assisting with that iphones and smartphones tend to automatically adjust to the lighting and so easy to take a flat lay now rather than having to rotate the tent or you know, you've got the additional included lights um, and everything in one neat little package. So a new accessory that Folio has released with the Folio 2 Plus is the Folio 2 Plus front cover. So the front cover is actually a cover that sits at the front here of the Folio 2 Plus. It's magnetic, so it attaches straight on the front and it basically covers the front opening here. Um, and the reason for that is it helps with reflective materials um, or have reflective products. So if you have something like jewelry or glassware, or um, something like a little trophy that we have here um, that's reflective so when you place that inside and you take photos of that um, there may be some reflections in there and what the front cover will do is actually assist with reducing those reflections so this is the package that it comes in on the back there you can see a small photo of just um, what it looks like when it's set up but uh, let's get this opened and attach it onto the tent there we go so it's basically the same material as the 4002 tent it's got three parts to it so you've got the two sides that are attached by the magnetic holding there and you've got the front and all you need to do is simply mount it onto the front here by the magnetic attachments on the side and there you go um, so what you can see here is that it's got this round opening or this little um, tunnel shaped opening at the front here for you to shoot through um, and what the front cover will do here is help reflect with some of this white cover on the front uh, back onto the subject rather than having it completely open where if you're taking a photo of say something even more reflective like glass for example you may even see yourself in the shot um, this will help with that and allow you to shoot um, with your camera lens or with a smartphone so I'll quickly demonstrate just with a smartphone here so I've got an iPhone taking a really quick product photo with the front cover on basically I can see that the light is evenly um, lighting the subject, um, it's reduced the shadows at the back with the addition of the three installed lights as well as the two halo bars and then using the front cover you're really achieving the best result for your product photos. So that was a quick unboxing and review of the brand new Folio 2 Plus. For more videos just like this, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hypop. Subscribe to our channel down below hitting the subscribe button or visit our website hypop.com.au. Thanks for watching.